You want a feel-good story about leadership and sacrifice leading to success? Well, we got one for you. They could probably make a movie out of this, but for now, you just have to settle for the Alexa Ross version. Seth Benedict was a varsity starter for Marcus Whitman's basketball team during his sophomore and junior seasons. He had big plans for senior year until he was sidelined as the result of a foot surgery during football season. I knew it was going to be a long, tough road, you know, especially, you know, second time, you know, with this injury, not being able to contribute in uh, any way really, uh, really hurt me just because, you know, we've been such a tight, close group of guys. When he returned to the team, he was unsure of his role. And after a stretch of losses, Seth decided it would be best for him to be the permanent sixth man. I sat down with um, Coach O'Connor and we uh, had like a heart to heart conversation about, you know, the big thing in basketball is, you know, you need to have consistency. You need to have your definite first five. You need to have that chemistry out there. Truly what I saw in Seth right there was true leadership um, and true understanding of what team meant to somebody. Going back to even practice, it's just, you know, we have our first five practicing against our second five. And, you know, I told them, I was just like, you know, you guys may be the first five, but I'm going to play you just like I'm, you know, the three-year starter. I'm going to ride you guys tail every practice. To lead that group and to compete every single day um, really pushed every other player. All of that leadership and work paid off when the Wildcats won the program's first sectional title since 1976. I remember watching the North Rose game, and, you know, I remember being a little sixth grader and watching them lose in the semifinals. And I remember turning my uh, good friend Liam Prendergast, who was our uh, center this year, and saying it's going to be different, you know, when we're a senior when we're seniors. And that was like a, like a dream come true, kind of finally all that hard work and uh, dedication, the time and sweat that was put in, kind of, it, it just felt really good. I'm Alexa Ross, News 8.